How's everybody doing? Good, good to see y'all. Go ahead, fire away. Hey Matt, what, what is it about Patrick that, that you see that somehow makes him get hungrier the more he achieves? I mean, how, how does that dynamic work, and are you seeing it here? Yeah, you, you always see it with Pat. Um, he's just in a, that's just who he is, number one, so it's, it starts out that way. But I think, you know, he looks at it like every every year is a challenge. There's always some type of edge that, that we and he creates. And I think internally for him, uh, the biggest thing now is, is being able to be um, more efficient probably as a unit on offense. Last year we talked about what we went through. As a team, we win the Super Bowl. And I think being able to get through some of the challenges we went through and still win it uh, creates fire and burn for this year to be better on offense and help the team out in general. Demonstrating that. Just with his leadership, um, you know, there's a lot of these plays that we've had for a long time. There's some that are new or some that are old. He doesn't ever let these plays get old. So if it's a play that we've repped maybe a hundred times in the past two years, he looks at it like it's the first time he's repped that play. And part of that is like learning some of these new pieces that are a part of the puzzle this year and getting the timing down on how they run a specific route. So I think that's kind of the fun what keeps it New. We only saw the one. We only saw the one day of Worthy, but just in general, from that day, what you're seeing, how are Brown and Worthy maybe going to open up the offense for you this year? Yeah, they're. Uh, you're right with with Xavier being able to get him out here when we can will be beautiful, uh, rep wise, timing wise, and, and the one day that he was out here, uh, I think it was exciting to see and feel the speed, but also the the tracking of the football and some of those downfield throws, the timing element of staying on time with press. Uh, that we're getting our guys are on defense press a lot so like just those guys understanding angles at top of routes and then i'd say the biggest thing is tracking and for the one time that we were together for that day it, it was really great to see and i think that's why we all got so excited especially with xavier yeah, we saw Kadarius tony get some reps in running back the last couple of days are there any plans to use him more in running back than you did in the past or maybe last year um it, it's probably the biggest thing right now with kt is just us being able to, to use his strengths. He's super talented, he can do a lot of things. So right now is probably the time to experiment and, and use these reps that we get. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do some more with him at running back. Uh, we did some last year with him. And I think he's a, he's a weapon when you use him that way and, and being able to bounce him around in different spots and so far so good. Yeah, he's done a great job. First of all, his attitude's phenomenal. Uh, he, you come from what he does and being so elite at what he does to transfer to a different sport, you got to have the, the mental strength to understand you're not going to always be perfect. He's been great. What's going to be fun, I think, and the most fun to watch Lewis is when the pads come on to see, like, hey, keep, you better keep those pads low and keep that head up. Today he had one where his head was down a little bit low. And he saw that and he knew it. We were talking in the stretch at the end of practice. So it'll be it'll be fun to watch him. Can you just take me through what, what, what was most exciting about seeing that? Well, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I definitely got too excited for that play. I got to control contain my emotions a little bit. Um, I, I, uh, but, but anyway, the, the throw, the play, the execution, it's exciting because it was really the first time that we've had that type of play with Xavier. You know, you get a guy that uh, wants it so bad, Pat wants it to be able to, to connect with him. And so when that happens, especially early in the practice, um, it, it's just a, it's a good feeling. Now, we got to, what I think the biggest challenge was, was the next day we came out and the defense got after us. So as a unit, like, we got to be better and make sure that we're consistent. We weren't consistent. We didn't follow that up. You mentioned Pat coming on in that battle that you've got between Wanye and Kingsley. Yeah. What have you seen from both of them so far, and what do you want to see when the Pats come on? Yeah, the, the competition is healthy. They're going to get plenty of reps, um, and they know it's going to be a, a focal point for us this year. When the, when the Pats come on, you got to be able to physically – um, do your assignment, but also you got to have a little nasty too. I think all these guys understand. And, and when you're a young, younger guy like Wanye or Kingsley, sometimes the game goes so fast that you lose some of the element of who you are within the play. But being able to kind of understand what to do in protections, what to do in the run game, match it up with who you are as a player, bring out your strengths, and then compete against each other in a healthy competition because we're going to be watching. And um, every rep that they get is going to be valuable. So 
It's going to be fun for all of us to see it happen. They're all going to they're going to have good days and bad days. But how how do you handle putting good days together and rebounding from a bad day? What stands out about what stands out about Hollywood so far? You can feel his veteran leadership. Uh, this offense right now for him, it's not been too much for him, and we put a lot in. So he's kept his play speed. When he, when he runs routes downfield, being able to track the football with Patrick, but then also not make the same mistake twice. He's, he's, uh, he's really in good mental shape, physical shape, all of that right now. So that's exciting. It, 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 we're really looking forward to getting him going. Let's do three more. Adam, Bacchus, and Now, uh, I don't know how long Justin Watson's going to be out. Maybe it won't be long. Mm -hmm. he is. You feel good about that group of guys now who may have a claim a roster spot for you? I do. I think, uh, you know, like you said, we'll, we'll see with Justin where, where that goes. But Justin's in a great place. He's been really good for us the past several years. And I think now um, with where he's at, the game has really slowed down for him too. Even being a veteran guy, this offense has slowed down for him. So putting all these pieces together, uh, every night when we get together with Coach Reed and we talk about each player, offense, defense, special teams, it's always really fun for us as coaches to see the guys that jump out that maybe um, – you know, we're getting these opportunities to make the most of them. I, I wouldn't say just yet, but that's the part that's exciting um, is when we get the pads on. That's what we want to see. When things become real, the defense knows the runs can come. We know that we can, you know, be uh, offense. Offensively, we can throw the ball, run the ball, and I think that's the rest of the camp is going to be fun. What would you have to tell a guy like, uh, like Nico? Yeah. Uh, the special teams is obviously going to be big for him, but what does he need to show you? Just that. He's got to be able to do what he's doing right now in shorts. But the reason why I believe in Nico is because of his, his mental makeup. Uh, he's in a good place. He started it last year. He got hurt. He stayed with us most of the year last year. Came in in great shape OTAs and is putting together so far right now. So that special teams part is valuable in that role. We know numbers-wise how big that is. So he's going to get opportunities. And what's he going to do with it? Good as the defense was last year, you know, the way things unfolded, yeah. you guys really leaned into playing complimentary football. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do wonder, though, do you feel like part of what you want to achieve this year is to, for lack of a better term, impose your own will more offensively? I would agree with that. Um, when, you're, when you're out there, every year is going to be different. you got to kind of go with the strides. Our defense was so good last year, and we hit some patches of, of, uh, of some struggles offensively, so you do want to play complimentary football. And... That's how we ended up winning the Super Bowl was when we had to make plays at the end of the Super Bowl. We had to win on offense. We did it. We look back as a positive. But we got to be better throughout the game and season this year. That's the challenge. And, and I think all of us are very competitive, and we all want that. And so now it's a new year, and we got to get off on the right foot. You guys are always going to let it fly at camp. But I mean, is this a little more indicative of you know, what, you, what you hope the regular season will look like? You, you know Coach Reed. Right, he, Coach Reed likes to go deep, so uh, we're going to try to go deep as much as we can, and and then play off of what what we have or what they give us. Matt, just uh, another year on staff, another year as OC for you. Just how are you balancing uh, wanting so much for your offense for this team with your own personal expectations and what you want to do with your career? Yeah, it's it's all about us, and I think that's the what's what's great for me in my role is I've been in this role now. Um, two years back in 16 and 17 and now heading into my second year now and they're different roles but I look at it more so from I've been with Kelsey a long time I've been with Pat quite a long time some of these young guys that come in I want to be able to be great to them and help them um, exceed as players and then us as a unit like how can I be the best leader for them my style my way but yet still challenge them and so last year was last year now we jump into this year and Right now is about these guys, and when we get to the season, it's going to be about winning as a team, and that's the only thing that we care about. And all the other stuff, you know, all the other stuff takes care of itself. Thank you. Everybody. All right, good to see you all.